Because the next time you at me, when you look up, I'm gonna have a dick pic in your Boss. DM. Don't fucking play with And for that girl backstage, may make it publicly clear. Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Rick James, bitch. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right. Some of the artists that you know are coming up. Only you know from your side, Detroit, that the world need to know about them. Man, Cheddar Boy, Malik, Tough Tone, Goddamn, Tom Tom. Man, them, them, uh, the whole Cheddar Boys, honestly. That whole little way right there, them boys had a real. And Stretch Money, them boys had a real. Man, Stretch a motherfucking legend, man. That nigga really can rap. You know, and it was at one point where Holmes was the biggest artist in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? So, like. Made West. Stretch money, yeah. tone tone, yeah. uh, KDs. KDs. That yeah. was that was that the was Detroit scene that at that time. Right there, yeah. Nah. People who rap for us set the tone for real shit. Oh, no, no, no. Stretch money, they set the tone for real life for people to hear the So kind of behind that, taking it in the mind, it's gonna make the whole city look bad. Project was crazy, bro. And Stretch Money was one of the best rappers I've ever heard in my life, bro. But he don't get the credit he deserves. He deserves. <laughs> Everything around me, dream, get a party, I'ma, I'ma kill y'all <laughs> That nigga say, I'ma, I'ma kill y'all Don't believe the cap Don't believe the cap They making interviews in retaliation to mine don't believe that fake shit. First nigga said, he ain't talk to me. Then is he ain't talk to us. And we got the receipts. See, niggas don't always try to play their own narrative. Want to play it like a nigga a hoe, play it with jokes. That's what the fake do. The real is back, nigga. Then if if I'm old and niggas the old rapper or whatever, what do you call the older nigga that's older than me, us? What do you call the nigga that's been piggybacking off of other artists' careers, his whole career, that ain't been a career? Just a nigga who been finding ways to make himself somebody off everybody else that got something going on. What do you call that? You was playing with whores. Me, I really took. Set a couple plays. Look at where it took. Yeah, you gon' need a couple racks just to book. 
I'm a seasoned vet, I ain't no motherfucking rookie. Ran into some smoke, little homie tried to cook me. I stepped on that beef till he. Back in 06 and 07, I was told to be humble just so I could be accepted. It's funny, all my effort that I put in got neglected. I had to murder these niggas just so I could be respected. It's real. And I don't give a fuck how niggas feel. It's up. And no, I ain't no telling. You wanna know why I feel so good? I feel good because Stretch Money getting what he deserved has finally begun. It took controversy with bitch niggas and it took the public to feel like they wanted to join in on annihilating me, stab me and watch me bleed out and die. And I'm not about to die at all. I'm about to be bigger than I ever was. Thank you, Dick Face Calderon. Look up. I'm gonna have a dick pic in your Boss. DM. Don't fucking play with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, see. Don't be at me neither. Because the next time you at me, because the next time you at me, when you look up, I'm gonna have a dick pic in your Boss. DM. Don't fucking play with me. Don't be at me neither. Because the next time you at me, because the next time, hold on. And another thing is, for the fearless rebel guy, why the fuck you think Crane Novocaine, who had what he thought was a star in his hand, separated himself? It's because he proved himself to be unworthy. So, Mr. Fearless Rebel, don't fall out with other people because of a past that your man got. So don't do that. And I'm, I'm keeping it gangster with you, bro. So, don't be at me neither. Because the next time you at me, when you look up, I'm going to have a dick pic. In your Boss. DM, don't fuck you at me. When you look up, I'm gonna have a dick pic. In your Boss. DM, don't fucking play with. For the promo, thank you, PZ2, fat bitch. <laughs> thank you too. Thank you. I thank you, niggas, so much, man. For shining this light on me. Some of the artists that you know are coming up. Only you know from your side, Detroit. That the world need to know about. Man, Cheddar Boy Malik, Tough Tone, Goddamn, Tom Tone. Man, them, them, uh, the whole Cheddar Boys, honestly. That whole little wave right there, them boys had a real. And Stretch Money, them boys had a real. Man, Stretch a motherfucking legend, man. That nigga really can rap. And now I'm about to get what I really was supposed to been getting the whole time. Hey, look, let me explain something, man. I'm winning so good that these niggas got to bring other niggas' names and other niggas into the situation. These niggas just been holes after holes after holes the whole time. Y'all ain't watching these niggas be hoes. They trying to call niggas in, tap niggas in. Hey, all these niggas is banding together for one nigga. Y'all are hoes. Period. Period. I don't know where y'all was raised at. I don't know where y'all grew up at. That is very hoe-like. Period. Now, nigga. I done seen too many real players fall to let these bitch niggas beat me. <laughs> hey, dog. Uh, excuse me, dick face. You can't win with that, nigga. Don't nobody know why me and Crane ain't together no more except me and Crane. Because we didn't put it out here for bitch-ass niggas like you to know. And I know for a fact that he ain't express our differences with a nigga like you. Because everybody in the street been knowing that you've been a gossiping 
in the way, ranting, bitch ass nigga, the whole time you been out here, bro. All you been, you dick ride, you rolled dick all the way to that seat you sitting in in there in your little room in there, nigga. Stress money, hell of a, <clears throat> they, they set the tone, uh, Mac Nichols live was, they set the tone for real life music here in the city. So coming behind that, taking the line, it's gonna make the whole city look bad. You know what I'm saying? Especially if, if you would be the nigga that get out there and blow first. Yo dick riding started out with Mike B at club status, you faggot ass nigga. You forgot why you want to send dick pics. You do that to men in real life, nigga. You bitch ass nigga. See, first of all, let's just talk about how Dogface is the biggest dick rider ever. For years, he been dick riding. His whole everything, his career and what he been doing been based off dick riding. His dick riding started with Mike B at club status. You forgot, you think we forgot about all them weak ass performances, you taking your clothes off, sweating, falling all over the flow, weak ass nigga, running with the red team, and now you beefing with the red team, and you think everybody don't know about your shit, nigga, huh? Oh, we about to light your ass up, because you know I'm one of them ones, and you know I'm one of them niggas that tapped in that no. So let's talk about something that ain't nobody said. And I'm the one that say shit that niggas is scared to say. We've been watching Dogface for years infiltrate rap circles. And every rap circle group crew that he infiltrates, a nigga goes to jail. The main nigga goes to jail. Then he moves on to another crew. <laughs> Do I really got to continue on? Then a nigga just told me that his wife is the feds. Come on. Come on. Big real nigga. Y'all so fucked up and confused by these supposed to be real niggas. I can play with me. Don't be at me neither. Because the next time you at me, when you look up, I'm gonna have a dick pic in your Boss. DM. Don't fucking play with me. Big Lord. I did it my way, nigga. Man, motherfuckers be crazy as hell. Y'all forgot that Doggy Bone was in the whole interview with the Forum magazine and praising me, calling me a legend. And then the same sentence saying coming in behind niggas like me, you couldn't be fake. <laughs> Set the city on fire. And I didn't even try. <laughs> Run the streets all day. I can sleep when I die. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for watching. Make sure you bang that subscribe button. This is One Book Podcast. You heard? If you mad about me doing something, or are you mad because I'm doing something? Is a difference. Are you mad because of me doing something to you? Are you mad at? I say, bro, I don't want to feel like. I, I, first of all, I ain't got nothing against the Turk.